Hi everyone, Mike Smith here from Xiaomi Websites. Today I'm having a quick look at Guru, which is an online funnel simulator. Uh, a software as a service and it allows you to, um, as it says here, mock up business ideas, simulate traffic and see the potential of uh, your marketing funnel. So let's get started. Okay, now first of all, this is not a detailed run through of the features of this software. I just want to give you an idea of what you can do. Um, as you can see, I've got an email campaign running vertically here with three days between outgoing emails. And what I'm trying to do is model both the open rate of each email and then also the click through rate. And as you can see, I can allocate percentage numbers here on each of these stages. Um, individually. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm using the uh, percentage of 20% here um, to model the opening rate which is a typical industry standard but I can change that if I want and then I'm also using 3% here to model the click-through rate to try and get an idea of from this email how many people will actually end up on the call to action here which is a phone call. What this software does very well is model the numbers for you, uh, given the assumptions that you make. So, so as you can see in this diagram here, uh, I'm sending out uh, emails every three days. There's four in total, uh, one, two, three, four bits of uh, content as well that correspond to each email. Now, um, as you can see, um, I'm making some assumptions about the open rate, 20% over here, go over and have a look at this a bit of content. If they uh, if they like that and click on the call to action, they end up on a phone call. And uh, if they don't, this uh, exit path here just joins back through the exit path from the original email. So basically, it models the total behavior. If someone um, opens this email, they've got two choices. They can either go this way or this way. And if they haven't opened the email, um, then they will just fall down to the next email in three days time. However, if they have opened the email and also click the call to action, they no longer, they scoot over here into this pathway and they no longer end up on this pathway. And these numbers here are automatically calculated by the software using this simulate button over here, which is really interesting um, because what that means is that you can run scenarios and work out what's, what's the effect on your overall uh, revenue uh, and profit um, and it will also do other things like uh, click your um, cost uh, per lead um, and uh, and other data here uh, on the right hand side for you so it's a basically a modeling tool okay now as you can see the purpose of this email based funnel here is um, to direct people to a call to action which happens to be a phone call. In the case of this business it's a phone call. And that phone call itself um, I can um, model the success of as well. So for example I'm, I'm um, going to presume for this particular case that it's got a 40% 40, 40 success rate uh, at sending people to a sales page. And if I just scroll to the right here a little bit you can see what happens after that is that um, uh, this sales page is a, uh, a course, um, a face-to-face -face course in fact, and that's the reason why this is a phone call. Um, and then there's a 90% uh, sales, um, or rather a 10% dropout rate there, and then uh, in, in, in progressing over to a checkout page, and then another 20% dropout there. So all of these numbers here can be can be modeled. And as you can see, uh, through this uh, email funnel, we've got um, eight people actually ending up on the phone call and then three of those say yes let's go and buy and then the uh, the numbers kind of work out here and we've got a, a figure for revenue on the right hand side so and as you can see by these lines going everywhere I can um, I can uh, take account of what happens after that as well so for example if they say no at the sales page I can then direct them to another uh, kind of a funnel or a procedure over here as well. So, um, and it, and it, this can get very uh, involved because the software can handle lots and lots of branching as you can see. 
in fact this particular model we've just been looking at this bit of it over here is uh, quite a sophisticated model that I've uh, put together just trying to test drive the the software now the software is a relatively new release it's it's uh, pretty easy to use I have noticed uh, a few issues which I'll raise with the um, with the vendors but overall I think this is a very useful tool just to show you how the numbers work if I click on an element I can bring up uh, some options um, and uh, one of those options is the conversion rate so I can um, I could change that to uh, from 40 to something else and then it would automatically change the uh, the no uh, gate there as well so just cancel out of that also oops put that back also um, on the right hand side you can see I can define products um, so for example if I um, have a look at that product there the course this is the main course here um, and uh, these are the details so uh, the product price its category the price type this course is four payments of $247 um, I can enter a, a pr projected refund rate there so I can um, I can model failure I suppose of to keep a, a customer and then also the cost of running that course which in this case I'm using to model the salary cost of the um, of the presenter on that course so that works really well and you can have zero price courses uh, products as well um, and as many of those as you like and then over here as well you've got uh, other statistics about uh, the traffic sources that I've inputted um, and I can define those I can also look at the expenses a bit of a pie chart here um, this presentation is is focused around the, the marketing side of things rather than the, the actual cost modeling side of things but it does allow you to add in whatever expenses you need and then there are also reports as well that can be generated um, from this software let's look at a couple of the reports now as I mentioned before I'm able to define a course or a product to be a course and also that course may have some costs associated with it but um, but what, what I want to do as well for this particular business because it's just a one person show um, is uh, the cost associated with running this course this product happens to basically go back to the same person so I wanted to run another scenario where those costs were zero and in this software you can do that you can run another scenario so basically what I've got here is a, a second scenario oops a second scenario here where I've uh, redefined the product so that it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have that uh, that cost so the cost is zero here so the salary cost effectively has been taken out and naturally that has a uh, an impact on the um, on the monthly profit so basically um, the salary component was nearly eighteen thousand dollars per month on this um, in this model so I can do a two scenario report using this scenario comparison here and, and, and that uh, that becomes clear so um, I just wanted to um, illustrate for this client that uh, the uh, the business wasn't actually running at a loss even though in the first scenario it looked like it did and as you can see you've got uh, a number of other reports here project summary traffic reinvestment um, monthly recurring revenue forecast as well and uh, a detailed performance analysis of the funnel which is very interesting as well and all of these can be um, downloaded as PF PDFs so that was a very brief look at Geru the funnel simulator a very interesting piece of software uh, so this is Mike Smith from Xiaomi websites uh, check us out on our Facebook page and uh, post questions there thanks very much